Welcome to another episode of Eric Waite Whiskey Studies, and in this video, I'm going to be reviewing the famous Grouse Smoky Black. Uh, this is a blended uh, Scotch whiskey, about 90% of Scotch whiskey production coming out of Scotland is a uh, blended Scotch whiskey. Although whiskey tubers, we tend to uh, emphasize uh, single malt Scotch, uh, blended Scotch is actually uh, the bulk of what's coming out of Scotland. In addition to single malt Scotch, blended Scotch whiskey, there's also single grain Scotch whiskey, blended malt Scotch whiskey, and blended grain scotch whiskey i'm going to be doing uh videos or reviews of some of those in the near future and uh, i'll have a series coming up on uh, the business of scotch whiskey in which i go into the various categories of scotch whiskey uh in the meantime i'm really enjoying this whiskey um it's very similar to a johnny walker black in fact, I actually did off camera a comparison between uh, this whiskey and the Johnny Walker Black and the Johnny Walker Double Black. But before I get into this, here are my notes. The famous Grouse Smoky Black is the rebranded version of the company's popular Black Grouse expression. It was unveiled in September 2015 with an update in both packaging and blend. That now includes a rare peated version of the Glen Turret Single Malt Whiskey Blend with Famous Grouse. It is not a statement and bottled at 40% alcohol by volume and retails for about $22 uh, in the United States and uh, $21.75 in the UK. All right, so uh, undoubtedly has some caramel coloring, so it's a sort of a light copper amber in color on the nose the peat and the smoke is i would say medium to medium minus intensity it's not a huge you know nose full of smoke and peat so if you know someone who maybe they aren't into peated whiskeys but you want to sort of introduce them to something this is a very affordable whiskey you can use to sort of introduce them to just a little bit of smoke and peat in fact uh, it was the Johnny Walker Black, along with the Boonham 12, that was my sort of foot in the door to enjoying pitted whiskeys. In addition to the little smoke, I get really nice chocolate notes. Peach, pear, nectarine, so stone, stone fruits, vanilla, caramel, chocolate. A little bit of black pepper. Just got a hint of spice there on the palate. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Really soft, really silky. It's not super huge, intense in flavor. Sort of creamy in texture, round mouth coat, a coating uh, feeling to it. Again, medium to medium minus smoke, a little bit of chocolate, get those nice uh, stone fruits, uh, a little bit of black pepper, get some caramels uh, and um, dessert like notes. It is it has a touch of sweetness to it and a medium length finish. Mm. Now, how does this compare to a Johnny Walker Black or a Johnny Walker Double Black? Off camera, I did a side-by-side -side comparison, and uh, the Johnny Walker Black and the Double Black, I would say, very, very, very similar in profile in terms of the level of smoke, uh, the fruit characteristics, the sweetness, the texture, uh, the finish. I mean, it, it tasted blind. You could confuse this with a Johnny Walker Black. However, I would say side-by-side, Johnny Walker Black and the Double Black, slight, I'm talking just a teeny weeny 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 bit, slightly more smoky, slightly sweeter, slightly more intense in flavor. It's just, I'm talking a fraction. It's just a, just a little bit more intense. So price-wise, there's probably about a $5 difference between the two. This is um, $5 cheaper than uh, Johnny Walker Black. Johnny Walker Black is easier to find. It's five to $6 cheaper than the Double Black. So if I had a choice, if this is sort of the profile that I'm looking for, 
I would actually spend the extra five to six bucks for a Johnny Walker Double Black, but this is still very, very, very nice. I think it has a good quality price ratio. You know, um, uh, I would, I'm would. i gonna give this a solid 86 points. I think it's really, really, really nice. If you want a whiskey with a little bit of sweetness to it, a little bit of chocolate, a little bit of that smokiness, but it's not a whiskey you're gonna spend a lot of time thinking about. You know, you're, you're doing something else. You're hanging out with friends, you're watching television, you're watching a movie. Um, you, you don't want to break out something super expensive. You're looking for a whiskey to share with people who maybe they aren't, you know, whiskey aficionados. You're not going to break out the super expensive, the really, 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 really good stuff. Um, I think it's a, a really good everyday drinker. So uh, I'm going to, for the quality price ratio, I think it's really, really good. And I'm going to give it a thumbs up. All right. Until next time. Oh, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Share this with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, and other social networking channels. Until next time, cheers. Hey, if you like my review, be sure to check out these other whiskey videos.